I am concerned for those who are, you know, teachers living, single moms who are teachers living on their own income. New tonight, parents and teachers are reacting to a stunning announcement from Salem Kaiser Public Schools. The district plans to cut hundreds of teaching positions. So does the latest teachers union agreement have to do with the district's decision? K2 is on your side with that answer. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for K2 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Deborah Knapp. Salem Kaiser Public Schools plan to cut nearly 400 positions. That's more than half of them in teachers in an effort to balance the budget for next school year. K2's Victor Park tells us if the cuts will impact programs. He joins us from Salem to break it all down. Well, although the district says this won't directly impact sports and dual language programs, they also say that those programs aren't fully protected. Now, the news of $71 million in cuts is certainly putting pressure on parents and teachers. It is. It is a lot of pressure. Sarah Libet is a school teacher at Salem Kaiser's Washington Elementary, but she is also a mother of three attending at district schools. If one word can sum up what is on her mind, it is fear. Fear for the kids, fear for my job, um, fear for the future. The district is proposing an additional $40 million in cuts. That's on top of the $31 million they've already proposed, bringing the recommended total to $71 million in cuts. The positions the district says is needed to cut in this second round are 231 teachers across all grade levels, 114 positions that include instructional assistants, health assistants, and graduation coaches, eight administrator positions, and $2.5 million in other spending. The superintendent doubled down on previous statements blaming the shortfall on underfunding by the state. The state has underfunded Salem-Kaiser by tens of millions and that is compounded by the fact that our federal COVID relief money is disappearing in September. It's compounded by the fact that our costs are escalating much faster than the pace that our revenue is increasing. All this comes just days after the district and the teachers union ratified a new contract, which amounts to more than $42 million. It includes salary increases and a one-time payment of $6,000 for full-time staff. But the superintendent says the new contract did not influence the cuts. I and we refuse to suggest that this painful reduction in force is a result of our staff being paid what they deserve. The teachers union issued this response, which reads in part, SKEA has known that the district would need to reduce the number of employees as pandemic era funds ended. Before and after the pandemic, the district had been spending more than their budget should have allowed. The union is disappointed by district leaders not prioritizing student facing positions. The union believes the choices will harm schools and ultimately students. Meanwhile, some teachers like Libby are left questioning their future. You know, I'm not sure <laughs> where, you know, I was talking to my husband and we, you know, we have to make a plan. And the school board will have the final say on the budget. And if approved, those cuts will take effect on July of next school year. You're going to have a chance to weigh in on some school board meetings that's happening next Monday and Tuesday. Reporting here in Salem, I'm Victor Park, K2 News. Well, we've reached out to Governor Tina Kotek for her reaction to the cuts. We'll bring you her response when we receive it.